it's Bucket Daily again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server, and this time it's going to be Bucket. Okay, first thing you're going to do is make a new folder and name it Server. Okay, then once you do that, go to the first link in the description. It's going to be for the Bucket download. Once you're here, click the highest number you see. Mine is 2151. Click it, then hit the download button. And it's going to download. Then you can minimize out that page and you'll wait for this to download because I don't want to skip ahead and do anything else okay now once it's done drag it to your desktop then rename it by left clicking it and hit enter then delete and type in minecraft underscore server now drag that into your server folder. And next you're going to go to the second link in the description. It's going to take you to this web page. And it should already scroll you all the way down. If it didn't, you'll have to find the contents, then the Mac OS X, X instructions, then hit downloading. And you'll see this code. You're going to copy that code. You can minimize out of this. Search up text edit then paste it into here. Then do format, make plain text, hit OK. Now if you see this 1G, 1G that means there's one gigabyte of RAM on the server if you want two, make it 2G, 2G, and so on. More RAM you have on your server, better it is. And you can't meet or exceed the limit of RAM. So if you don't know how much RAM you have on your computer, click this little Apple symbol about this map next to memory that number is how much RAM you got okay then once you're done with your RAM do command S to save it then name it start dot C O M M A N D. ask to have dot command or it won't work save it to your desktop and hit save use dot command then you can exit out then make, highlight it so you, it's easy to find drag it into your server folder then open up your server folder, go to terminal, and type in chmod a plus x space, drag in the start command, hit enter, then you should be good, press x, hit the start command, and it's going to start up all your server files. Then just wait for that. I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to sit through this. Mine just finished. If yours did finish, pause the video and let it finish. Okay, once it's finished, type in slash. Don't, don't do a slash. Just type in stop. You can only do the slash if you're in the server in Minecraft. Okay, now, once it's done saving, it doesn't take too long. I'll just pause the video so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, I didn't need to pause it and it finished. Okay, uh, once it's done, you can exit out of terminal. Find your server.properties. I would highlight those so it's easier to find. And open it. Okay, and the first thing you're going to go to is... Where is it? Server IP. Okay, to get your server IP, you're going to go to the third link in the description. It's for Logmein Hamachi. You're going to click the little box at the bottom and hit the download now for the unmanaged version, not the managed. Then hit download now. Then once you, once it downloads, I'm not, it's going to tell you to install it. I don't need to because I already have it. And once you install it, it's going to tell you to make a new work, network. Just create a new network, make a name, make a password then you have yours you have to remember your username and your password so your friends can join I already have a video on how to join I'll put a link in the description for that so you can watch that then whatever your IP was for your Hamachi which is right next to the little power button and right above your name which mine is 5.85.156.42 you're gonna write that in in the server IP equals area on the server.properties 
then you're going to see server port 25565. Leave that alone. And the next thing you can change is the max amount of players. I'm going to make mine 7. Message of the day, which is what's right under the server IP, I'm going to leave mine blank. Whitelist, you can leave that false unless you want only certain people on your server. That's really it for this part. And you could do command S then X, X out of this, and OPs.txt. Open up that and put your name in there, your Minecraft name. And do command S, then any other OPs or people you want to have all commands put in there. Then the band IPs, those are the people you don't want the computer coming from or whatever. Then the band players is the band person, the Minecraft name, not the computer. And you can put whoever you want in there. Then do command S. And if you have your server whitelisted, open up the whitelist.txt and put an, your name in there, or whoever name you want in there. And do command S, then that's all ready. Then to install a plugin, I'll make a video on that. Then just hit start.command exit out of the server folder and just let it just load. While that's loading you can open up Minecraft. Okay now once this now you're gonna let Minecraft load since this is done. You can minimize this so you don't have to see that. Then you can make a Minecraft with big screen. Okay now go to multiplayer Go add server, type in your server IP. Then once you type it in, do colon two five five six five. Then for the server name, just call it whatever. I'm gonna call it my server. Then it's gonna see I left nothing here for the MOTD. Then I have seven players. I could hit join server. And you have to do the 25565 in the colon or it won't work. Okay, once you get here, it's gonna. This is your spawn. Only OPs can break here, so that's like a. So no one can break the spawn. It's just a default command. It's not really a command, it's just a default. Then you can do slash game mode your name and one to change all of them. And if you want to see any other commands, you can just. Just, uh, what was I gonna say? Just do slash help, then that's just all the commands. And I'll put everything else in the description all the downloads, my server, everything else that you need to make a server. And that's really it. Bye.